Hey everyone, my name is Sean Smith and I am going to put together, well this video is going to be about deduplication uh, in the search term report. The reason I wanted to do a video on this is because I did a post about um, using Helium Tensor Rebro to deduplicate and people were asking me about how to do it. So. I wanted to create a video about it to teach people how to deduplicate in their search terms report and give them that tool in their toolbox. And I'll tell you by why it's important and stuff. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to, um, you know, log into your seller central account, go over to reports, um, advertising reports, go to search term. And here's our naming system. We do account name, whatever your account name is, the country STR for search term report. And then we put the date range. That way, um, when we file it for archiving, we know exactly, you know, what the name of it is and where it's going to go and all that stuff for organization purposes. So we want to do, I always do 60 days just to get the full data set because we're going to deduplicate anyways. And so, you know, you can request that, create that report here, and then you can download it into a uh, Excel file. So the next thing we want to do is open it up and you see we have the naming system here in the file name and let's go over deduplication. So just a couple pieces of information. As you can see, this is just dummy data, right? Like this isn't anything. And so a couple pieces of information. So we, with, um, when we're picking our search terms, we like to use row, um, column T which is seven day advertised SKU units. And the reason we use this is because, you know, um, this is saying that the, the unit that was bought was the same as the one that was advertised. And so that tells me that it's a more accurate, um, it's just a more accurate piece of data, right? Because if it's just other SKU units or if it's just, you know, total units, then it might not be that accurate, right? Because it could be a different unit, like it could be something else. And so we don't want to attribute a search term to an, a unit that was ordered that wasn't the product that was advertised, right? Because it's, it's harder to, to draw that line. So that's why we use column T. And we usually, when we're looking at search terms, we break them into two buckets. Bucket number one is search terms that have one to two orders. That's bucket number one. And we test those in broad and phrase at kind of a lower bid. And then bucket number two is three or more orders or three or more units, seven day advertised SKU units. The reason we break those up into two different buckets is because we're just seeing that, you know, the, well, I did an analysis and uh, like just a manual analysis and saw that, you know, when it was three or more, it tended to be more relevant to our product. And so it just had a higher level of relevancy and, and more um, accuracy in terms of like whether or not it would perform well. One to two, not so much, right? So the data is smaller and less consistent. So that's why we don't bid high on those. Well, we can go up, but that's why we test them in broad, broad and phrase as well. So let's go on ahead and do some number crunching here. So here's what we want to do. Go over to data, your data tab in Excel, go to filter. Okay. And then the next thing you want to do is go over here to um seven day advertised SKU units and we'll we'll do group two which is three or more greater than or equal to three cool we'll select all we'll copy it got a lot of data so it's going to take a hot minute paste it and then this is where we're going to do this is where i'm going to show you what deduplication is and you know how to do it simple it's not hard it's important as well and I'm going to talk about why. So here is our deduplication formula right here. So we'll paste it, and then I got to make sure we're good. Hold on. How do we want to do this? We want to do H2, F2. Okay. So let, let's go, let's see what this means. I'm not going to go through like the, what everything means, but I'm going to just go through the, what the 80, 20 is like, why it's important. So basically what's happening here is, 
Um, this formula is saying, you see the blue box here, um, how it's highlighted in blue. So the question that is being asked here is, is, is anything in this blue box, so is this customer search term found anywhere in column F in any of these keywords, right? So are any of them the same? If so, it'll call it a duplicate. If not, it'll call it unique. Okay. So let's, let's go, let's check, let's check out what happens here. So look, all of them are going to be unique because of the way I did the data, but watch this. So I'm going to change the, I'm going to change this one to, um, a duplicate. Let me show you how copy this. There you go. Duplicate. The reason it says duplicate is because right now H2 is the exact same as F2, F3, F4, F5, you know, all of the ones that have the same uh, word in them. And so once you're done, once you run this formula, you can go to uh, data and filter, and then you can keep all of the unique search terms. Okay. So this is going to keep all the unique search terms the search terms that you're currently not bidding on in keywords. So these are unique search terms. And then what you want to do is copy them, select them, bring them over here. I know it's a lot of sheets. And then the second deduplication. So what we've done here is we've duplicated the customer search terms against the keyword. But now we want to de deduplicate the customer search terms against the customer search terms against themselves. Okay. The way to do that is go to insert pivot table, go to OK, okay, and then you go to um, customer search term go over here, bring it on over here to the row, and then you'll want to do, you can do your seven day advertised SKU units, and you can add any metrics on there. But basically, what a pivot table does is if, let me show you. If you noticed that, you know, it says customer search term example, example, example. Well, watch this. Hold on. See if it changes the pivot table. No, it doesn't. Maybe it will if I take it out. Hold on. One sec. See what happens here. Oh, no, it didn't. So I'd have to create the pivot table again. So basically what it does is it consolidates all the search terms that are the same in column H. So since these are all the same, you know, it says customer search term example, customer. Oh wait, let me go to sheet three. Sheet three is the one we're using right now. So you see how all these are the same? Well, since all of these are the same, well, not this one because I, I just changed it after I made the pivot. So if I go and make a pivot again, let's go over here, right here. And then, uh, let's see here, bring it on over. They, how did that work? Hold on, let me see. Customer search term. I'm not sure why that didn't work, but it should have. Hmm. That's interesting. Let me see something real quick. Uh, let me go to, let me save it. Insert the table the heck man hold on see something's wrong here hold on try something All right, let me try something here. There we go. For some reason it didn't work before, but maybe it's because of that. But you see how since I changed those values. So basically what it does is it just merges all of them. So all these here, we use the pivot table merges all that data together. And so when you have in your search terms, it'll any duplicate search terms, it'll just merge them together. Sorry about that hiccup there. Um, 
sure what happened, but we figured it out. And that is how to do the double deduplication. And what's the point, right? Who cares? Who cares about this deduplication? Well, the reason it's important is because it allows you to get um, search terms that you're currently not bidding on. So when you get a click for these search terms that you're currently not bidding on, you're going to get unique traffic. You know what I mean? You're going to get traffic targeted traffic that you got previously through the search term report, but it's more targeted and it's more intentional. And so you're getting unique traffic. And if you get a sale for that, you're going to get unique conversions. And it's going to force when you test them in broad and phrase, these new search terms is going to force Amazon to look for even more longer tail stuff. So this is why deduplication is just really important. Like it allows you to find what you're currently not bidding on and what you're not getting, you know, direct traffic for that you're intentionally bidding on. Um, I'm a huge fan of this and this, you know, it's a great practice. I mean, I know it takes a sec, like this video, it'll take a sec to learn, but I mean, once you get it, it's just like so easy, so easy. Um, I'm sure there are tools that'll do this as well, but I'm a huge Excel person because of the flexibility of the platform. But this is how you deduplicate and find your unique search terms that you can then bid on in your campaigns so you can prevent duplicates that's what we're trying to do here is prevent the duplicates we don't want any duplicates all right everyone um, all right seller trade craft fam thank you so much for everything and you just let me know if you need anything and i hope this was valuable